now got a properly powerful wireless attack. So here's what we have. We have a Backtrack 5 attacker. It's going through Ethernet up to a D-Link router here, and the D-Link router is just converting that traffic into wireless traffic at 802.11n, uh, 5 gigahertz only. The MAC Air is the target. It's connected only wirelessly to that network. And if you look at what we've done on the E here, we've done the same thing we did before. We used the fake router 6 attack to just simulate a router on A, advertising a network starting with A, and another network starting with B, and C, and D, and E, and F. So there are six routers simulated, each sending one packet per second, and that has caused the MAC to just create 12 IP version 6 addresses starting with letters A through F. They're not in order, but you can see all the addresses there, which is just what should happen. So I'm going to run exactly the same thing, flood router 26 here. Um, okay, and when I do that, we look up the MAC. The MAC now starts generating more addresses because it's responding to the attack. The peak traffic has gone up to 11 megabytes per second, and the MAC just crashed and died. It only took that many seconds, four many seconds, maybe five. Now it can't assign the requested address anymore. When I try to go to Activity Monitor, you, it does not even come up. You get the spinning wheel of death, just like before. If you press shut down, you get the box, but when you press restart, it can't restart the Mac anymore. It's dead as a doornail in just a few seconds. That's it.